definitely the most fish I've ever seen in the Mediterranean. <laughs> Welcome to Turkey. I'm Daniel and my wife and I have spent the past seven weeks driving from London in the United Kingdom across Europe to get to Turkey. We've dived all across the trip, so be sure to go check out those previous videos to get yourself up to speed. We're just on our way out of Greece, approaching the Turkish border. Hopefully we don't have too many problems crossing that. There shouldn't be, as we've done our research, we think. But we're heading down to a place called Izmir and then going diving with some guys from the Turkish national spearfishing team that I've met at various competitions over the years, targeting Dentex. And I can't wait to get out there because this place is rumored to have some of the best Dentex fishing in the entirety of the Mediterranean. We made it all the way to Turkey. We crossed the border. Not without our problems, they were questioning my insurance and all that sort of stuff. But hey, we got there, heading on down to the Aegean. Time to find some Dentex. This is probably the longest I've ever driven for a fish. After being on the road for 10 hours, we arrived to a peninsula outside of Izmir called Cheshma, and I had a dive scheduled the next morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Today, I'm with some of the best divers in the country that are on the Turkish national spearfishing team. Sabri, Serhan and Kore. This is their local area and I can't wait to see what the day will bring. Today, what do you think we will get? Dentex. Favorite is Dentex. Big Dentex. Okay. But, uh, maybe Golden Groupers. Maybe Corvina. Saragos. Sibas. All fish I would be more than happy to shoot today. Conditions topside were amazing. Light winds, flat seas, and being tour guided by the best in the business. What a privilege it was to be here today. First place today is nice and shallow at 12 meters, and Sabri is going to spoon feed me a Dentex, I hope. <laughs> The water is still relatively warm in the middle of October at 23 degrees Celsius. I'm in my full 5mm wetsuit and since we're going for Dentex, I'm taking my inverted roller. It's not the fastest gun to load, but I only need one good shot to make my day. Sabri heads up current where there's bait fish on the surface. Visibility is excellent as you'd expect from the Aegean Sea. The bottom seems to have much more growth than other places I've dived in the Med. Perhaps a testament to the clarity of the water and light penetration into this shallow reef. It's about here I can see two Dentex way, way off in the distance. First dive of the day and it's not my best. As I head to the surface I can see that there was a shoal of Corvina sitting right behind this rock out in the open. I've still never managed to shoot one of these fish. Two Dentex. Five. Ah. Uh. Two kilo, 2.5 kilo. Uh, where is it? Uh, uh, this way, they don't come close. And then uh, some corva, uh, maybe five or six corva, corb. Remember how I said that this was their local dive spot? Well, Sabri calls me over and says there is usually a grouper under this stone and hands me his torch. I drop one of the bands on my roller as I didn't want a repeat of the grouper I shot in Croatia and a bent spear. A nice gold blotched grouper, or stira as they are known locally, which is also the Greek name for this fish. Finding one in just 16 meters was pretty cool for me. Usually I've only ever found them beyond 20 meters. As I'm bleeding the grouper on the surface, Sabri is straight back down to another hole that he knows. 
I see he's managed to get his shaft stuck shooting deep into this hole. Sabri reaches for his knife, which has a shaft extractor built into the handle, and then begins the process of getting his shaft and fish back. He returns to the surface with a lovely steerer. Bravo! Nice steerer! Once again, Sabri has located one of his favourite rocks and signals to follow him down. He gives me some hand signals about where the fish is, and I head on down. I swapped to my 90cm gun as this area wasn't working for Dentex and we'd be shooting in holes. It's about 18 meters here and I can see the prominent stone that Sabri was pointing to. I see the tail of the big stitter, but I can't see the head. I try to angle as close to the head as possible, but probably should have gone around the other side of the rock. Couldn't see the head. <laughs> uh, that's a, oh, nice theater. A personal best at two kilograms and about as spoon fed as you can get when spearfishing. Thanks, Sabri. Once again, Sabri has spotted two groupers and I follow him down. His recovery rate is insane and he was diving up and down all day, non stop. He lands on the bottom at around 21 meters and wastes no time with a kill shot. Great spearfishers are always thinking one step ahead and Sabri is looking for a grouper for me and signals to the other side of the rock. <laughs> I was a little out of breath and I thought it would be safer to leave the fish and spear gun and get it on the next dive. This is where a white handle helps as it's really easy to spot from the surface. You can always take your time recovering fish in the med, often very little current and no sharks to worry about. We're off to a good start. <laughs> Not the best shot on this stitter, but it will do. It's a nice stitter. There's a lot of fish in Turkey, Corey. <laughs> no, a lot of fish. It's just the beginning. This is the beginning. Now we need uh, some big dentex. We need the fish because we are now with four person. I take back what I say about other Mediterranean countries. Turkey definitely has the most fish I've ever seen. Sabri the machine was not slowing down. Now we're heading to one of Serhan's favorite spots. They tell me it's a long pipe that starts around 16 meters and goes down to 22 meters. As I settle on the bottom, I can see two gold blotched groupers to the left of the pipe and I begin to crawl slowly towards them. Upon getting closer, I can see a third bigger one sitting high up on top of the pipe. I decided to go for gold with the largest fish. A 
I saw this theater was slightly turning to flee, but the shaft finds its mark on a new personal best of 2.25 kilograms. Yeah, there's three steer, yeah. three, small, medium, big. <laughs> okay. That's a nice fish. Very nice. We spent a bit of time here without finding any more fish. The afternoon was getting on, so we decided to head back to some shallow areas where they have shot dentex before. After a few dives, I managed to see a dentex right off in the distance, which can barely be seen on the camera. Obviously way too far to even consider a shot. Maybe I should have taken this plump sargo that swam right up to me instead. The fish was really calm and not aggressive at all. I could have stayed there all day and I don't think it would have been interested in me. I try some grunting as a last ditch mm -hmm. effort and the dentex gives me one more glance from a long way away. I did a dozen long dives but never saw another dentex. After seeing a few of these corvina, I swapped back to my 90 centimeter gun to perhaps find one in a hole. A solid Sargo waiting to come home with me. However, the spear just grazed the head of the fish. Shooting all those fish in holes previously had dulled my spear tip, I think. Soon after, we called it a day. Sirhan had found a fat corvina and Sabri managed a two and a half kilo dentex along with a white grouper from the shallows. These guys were unstoppable. I've never heard of a white grouper being shot so shallow before. Definitely the most fish I've ever seen in the Mediterranean. Thank you so much for the day out. I saw a lot of fish, learned a lot, but sadly still missing a nice big dentex. Yes. Sabri's got a nice one. <laughs> and also a Corvina that uh, Sadhan <laughs> also needs to teach me how to catch. But thank you very much. Amazing day out in Turkey. Beautiful fish. As I've said many times before, spearfishing is a universal language and what an amazing experience to dive with the Turkish national team. These guys will be hard to beat in May 2024 when they host the Euro-African Spearfishing Championships. Sabri, Serhan and Kore, Teşekkürler. We've come to Kore's friend's restaurant here in Çeşme and they have butterflied out this fish and grilled it Turkish style. Looks absolutely amazing. Haven't had gold blotch grouper for a little while now, but delicate white flakes. Oh, that's so good. It's got all the grill taste. I love these fish. If you ever get the opportunity to eat one, make sure you do. Join us next time as we head to our furthest destination on the trip, Bodrum. Stunningly clear waters, epic fish life, but have I learned enough on this trip to finally catch myself a Corvina?